It's all fun. Okay, so we want to, you see it? Yep. We want to be able to take the square root of 64 and x to the 6. Now, it's pretty easy to remember the square root of 64, right? That's just right. your number. So what I'm going to do is, one thing you can remember, I'm just going to break this up. So I'm going to break this up into our number, square root of 64, times the square root of x to the 6. The square root of 64, we know the answer is going to be 8, right? Yes. But the one thing we need to understand is, you know, what is going to be the square root of x to the 6? Well, there's a couple things to remember. The square root of x squared, right, we know equals x, yes. right? So we can take the square root of x squared, that's going to equal x. So what I want to do, and actually another thing for us to remember is the property of exponents, that x um, squared times uh, to the third equals x to the six. You're going to multiply those exponents, mm -hmm. right? Does it make sense? Yep. Okay, those are rules of exponents. So what I'm going to do is I am going to see how I can rewrite x to the sixth with a square root. Okay. Okay. So what I what I'm going to do is if I can rewrite this, if we can rewrite this as x um, cubed squared, mm -hmm. then what happens is, like I said, these square roots are going to cancel out. Right? So therefore, I'm just left with 8x cubed. All right. Does that okay. kind of make some sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Do you want to explain it a little bit in a different way? Uh, if you'd like, all right. Okay. Think about it this way. If we look at this, so here's x cubed. Let's look at it another way. So we have 64x to the sixth. Another way, remember how we write, um, we know that this is represented as 8, you know, times 8, and that's how we get um, our 8 out. Well, x to the sixth can be rewritten as, you know, x cubed times x cubed. All right. So, you know, pretty much when we're taking this out, this equal, you know, that equals, right? Because if you have x cubed plus 3 equals x to the sixth, right? Okay. So all I'm pretty much saying is we know that this equals 8 squared, mm -hmm. which is still 64, and this would equal x cubed squared. Well, again, whenever you're taking the square root of those, those cancel out, and those cancel out. So that's why we're just left with 8x cubed. Make right. sense? Yep. Okay.